Hi everyone, welcome back to our Forgotten Gate project. We will continue the texturing of our scene. If you didn't watch the previous part, you will find the links in the description below. Today we will create the texture of our rune, rocks and liana. We will add the mouse and the render in the next video, which will be the last one of this tutorial. Let's dive into it. Select our rune, then go to the shading layout. Now, we can center our camera to the selected object. Now, we just need to create a new material and we will call it run underscore matte. We can delete the default shader node as we will use another one. Press X to delete the node. Then, we will add a node by pressing Shift A and search in the shadows category the emission node. We can link the emission output to the surface input Change the emissions color to the one you want. Don't hesitate to try things or even change it later. In my case, I will go for a blue one. Now we need to increase the strength to a very high value and make sure to have the bloom effect activated in the render settings. Here I'm trying to see the bloom effect, but the emission is too low, so I will need to increase it more. Ok, it looks fine for now, let's create the material for the liana. Select the liana and create material that we will call vegetation underscore matte. For this material, we will use a noise texture to add some color variation. Let's add this node. Now we can connect both to have a look to our texture. Remember, you can press Shift H while your object is selected to hide everything else. We can play with parameters until we are happy with the result, or we can come back later. Ok, so we have a black and white texture, let's map it to real colors with the color ramp node in the converter category. Now you can choose the colors you want and change the variations with the markers, it is totally up to you. I also recommend you to increase the roughness to around 0.8 and decrease the specularity a bit. Let's have a look to our scene to see how the colors are working together. It is totally fine if you don't get it right away. We will adjust things while we go. In my case, the green of my liana is not working well with the graph, but I will correct it later. Now we will create the matter for the rocks. Select our gate and create a new material. I will call it brick underscore mat, but if you prefer rock underscore mat, stone or whatever, just go for it. We will give a grey base color to our bricks, reduce the spectrality and increase the roughness. Ok, now let's focus a bit more on our bricks. As usual, we will use a noise texture. We'll start by creating the normals. Let's grab the bump node and link the fac output of the noise texture to the height input and the normal output of the bump node to the normal input of the shader. Now we are facing some stretching issue with the texture. We'll fix it the same way as we did for the ground. We'll add a texture coordinate node Then, we just need to connect the object input to the vector, et voilà. 
we can now play around with the values of the noise texture to create a nice rock effect. Ok, let's see how it looks our scene. Of course, we will apply the same texture to the other bricks. This looks already quite interesting, right? We will now add some variations to the color of our bricks. Let's duplicate the noise texture and plug it in the base color. Don't forget to fix the texture coordinate. Now let's remap the black and white texture with the color ramp node, then we can play with parameters. Here I recommend you to explore the parameters by yourself. Once we have done playing with parameters, we can group all our nodes except the texture coordinate node into a group node by selecting them and press Ctrl G. The green background means you correctly created a node group. You can just press Tab to exit and come back to our brick material. We can then rename the node group to something like bricks. We end up with a clean and nice material. Awesome! In the next episode, we will add the most texture in this graph, some little particles in our scene, and it will be done. As always, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed it, don't forget to like and subscribe to support this channel, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye!